how are the different types of guided waves or guided medias are there optical cables are there okay we will go to the next slide yes sir so why fiber is fabulous nowadays we are in this technology light up tomorrow by using of fiber optical cables okay basic principle of fiber optical communications fiber optical communication is a technology that uses light pulses that is what laser light i am going to use to transfer in information from one source to another through an optical fiber cable so understood so this is the basic principle and as you know that light have a property that it may reflect it may refract is it not it yes, sir so uh, if i have used a light that it should not get refracted then the intensity will be higher okay if if a light get refract what will happen automatically the light will get certain loss it's not it that loss has to be avoided in the case of fiber optical communication if i am sending in a light in a optical cable what happens definitely light will travel in a straight path that you know that i when the light is bombarded in any portion or any uh, space what happens definitely will get refracted as well as it will get reflected so when certain amount of light is get refracted what happens is a certain amount of light will be lost if light is get lost then what happen definitely the data also will get lost is not it sir okay. so that that has to be avoided the refraction process has to be avoided so there must should have only reflection okay in inside the optical cable the light should only get reflected should not get refracted okay okay sir okay so this is the basic principle when i am sending in a light inside the optical cable the light should get only reflected it should not get refracted when it is get refracted in each and every reflection what will happen at the receiving station total uh, light will get lost okay so we have to be avoid them so to avoid this refraction i has to make certain uh, conditions for optical cable before manufacturing in an optical cable so we have to be remember this light this optical cable should get only reflection instead of refraction okay okay sir can you go to the next yes sir so evolution of uh, optical cable even you have uh, heard about corning glass in samsung mobile phones it's not it yes, sir gorilla glass yeah. Yes, coming. So optical fibers were first developed in 1970s. So in the past 30 years before, uh, 50 years before it self developed. But in our country, we have uh, implemented in before uh, 10 to 15 years. Okay. Uh, at the same time, gallium arsenide, gallium arsenide semiconductor lasers were also developed. Instantly, what in the same time you see when optical fibers were developed, even semiconductor lasers also developed. Okay. So these uh, lasers, uh, say, cheapen the, what we can uh, manufacture with a little amount uh, by semiconductor laser. If you go to a gaseous laser, like helium neon laser or there, carbon dioxide laser or there, NDYAG laser, neodymium, ATM, aluminium, aluminum, garnet laser, different types of lasers are there. Okay. So here, semiconductor lasers are very, very cheap, but less expensive. Within a little amount, we can make a semiconductor laser. But if you make any NDYG laser, NDYG lasers are probably used in a, what cataract operation. Okay, eye operation but only on that can be used for NDYG laser. Did you hear that? No, sir. Uh, NDYG lasers. So laser, laser can be classified based on the medium. What the medium you are used, whether gas medium you used, or in a solid state laser is used, uh, like ruby laser, is a solid state laser. If a gaseous laser, helium neon laser are there, carbon dioxide laser, CO2 laser, different types of lasers are there. Okay, but okay, probably uh, in, even in, in a pointer, pointer, pointer use for that. Plenum semiconductor lasers are used for that. Gallium arsenide. So at the okay, time sir. of 1970s, the both technologies were developed. Optical fiber technologies also developed, and invention of semiconductor lasers also developed by using semiconductors. Okay, I think you have a little bit knowledge about semiconductors, is not it? Yes, sir. At the same time, gallium arsenide semiconductor laser were also developed for transmitting light through the optical cable. So the first generation optic system was developed in 1975. It has been used by gallium arsenide semiconductor laser. Optic
operated at a particular wavelength 0.8 micrometers okay so about uh, uh, wavelength of laser you know that more than 6000 armstrong is not it more than more than 6000 amps in infrared region okay visible or uh, after visible we have ir region that is it will work on an ir region uh, more more than 6000 to 9000 amps uh, even 900 nanometers in the case of you can say you can represent the unit in nanometers 900 nanometers 700 nanometers different types of laser with different wavelengths are there okay from 6000 if it started to up to 11000 12000 uh, armstrong we have a certain different lasers are there okay so optical cable transmission so to transmit any any data we require three different uh, materials the components are required what are they means fiber optical media that is in a media guided media we require okay that is what we called as in a carrier uh, that is what a carry bag we called as Uh, light source light source means what to generate an a laser light okay we need in a light source any types of laser you can use here and optical fiber media we require and light detector it is also one of the important uh, instrument we need that uh, the, the coming light is the laser or not that has to be detected we have different types of op optical detectors are there photo injection diodes are there avalanche photo diodes are there it can easily detect whether uh, the uh, coming light is laser or not in a particular wavelength it can be detected okay traffic okay, signal la namu paathana ni evlo speed la vara appadina edukkuradukku la namu instrument vechukku paathirukka sir ama road la ni fast ah poi ipo nee la idu panniter irukra illaya race la pandra easy road la maabali pandra road la illa nane ellame daily panniter irukra na ரேஸ்ல ஓடுற வண்டி எல்லாம் எடுத்துட்டு வந்து ரோட்ல ஓடுற நிறைய பையன் அதெல்லாம் உன்னுடைய ஸ்பீட் கால்குலேட் பண்றதுக்கு நம்ம யூஸ் பண்றோம் த்ரீ டிஃபரெண்ட் காம்போனன்ஸ் ஃபைபர் மீடியா லைட் சோர்ஸ் லைட் சோர்ஸ் இஸ் இன் ஜென்ரேஷன் ஆஃப் லேசர் ஓகே அண்ட் லைட் டிடெக்டர் எனி ஆப்டிகல் டிடெக்டர்ஸ் லேசர் ஓகே ஸோ மீடியா லைட் சோர்ஸ் அண்ட் லைட் டிடெக்டர் த்ரீ காம்போனன்ஸ் அண்ட் the optical fiber is a wave guide that already i told you optical fiber is in a wave guide okay it is made up of transparent dielectrics edanaala made panirukanga ipo nee nariya bsnl idella manirukanga paathirukka nee road side liye enna panirukanga na cables vechirukanga optical fiber cable appo ofc n paathirukka nariya paathirukinga optical fiber cable optical fiber cable kannadi ilai appo tamil solluvanga so uh, it is made up of a dielectric media dielectric na unakku theriyum what it is dielectric what does it mean dielectric sir non conductive materials yes it non conductive like glass or plastic which is made up of a silicon dioxide so optical cables are made up of a dielectric uh, it may be a of a silicon dioxide material okay how it has to be constructed fiber fiber optical cables how it constructed it consists of an inner cylinder i will show you the diagram first it consists of inner cylinder inside the cylinder only we going to pass the laser light okay it consists of inner cylinder made up of glass or plastic we call it as a core you can see here uh, i am moving the cursor can can you view here yes, sir is it visible to you where i am moving so this is what we called as even here you can see a cylindrical pipe is there this is what we called as a core inside this core this black line we call it as a laser light is uh, propagating inside the core understood okay this is the core Sir. and uh, upon this core we have made another material this also made up of in a silicon dioxide with uh, different components uh, composites of silicon dioxide we made up okay and we call it as a cladding cladding okay this cladding will be uh, act as in a what uh, it may be protect the core material that it should not bend or it should not elongated or certain uh, pressure should not act on the certain load should be not uh, affect the light uh, affect the core material for that we made in a cladding here so we need in a core core is made up of in a silicon dioxide okay and if this okay, diameter sir. of the core this diameter of the core should be 
uh, should make it in a very very least that it may send only one propagation one propagation of light should be enter okay one light if you want to make more number of lights then you have to increase the core diameter so by variation of core diameter we can make the certain different types of uh, optical cables so we will later discuss okay so how it look like uh, a yeah, optical cable is so it is made up of an a core as well as cladding both may be in the same material or different material so inside the core only we going to send a uh, yeah, laser light okay it consists of okay, inner sir. cylinder made up of glass the core has a refractive index n1 so let me call this core this core will have an a refractive index n1 i have to choose a different refractive index understood let me call as core has in n1 n1 is the refractive index of core and n2 is the refractive index of cladding understood so always i may made in a condition here the refractive index of core should be greater than the refractive index of cladding able to understand n1 is greater than n2 yes sir n1 is greater than n2 because why it should not get refracted the light should not get refracted from the core you can see here where i am moving the cursor it is what interface interface means what in between core and cladding okay core and cladding yes sir this interface uh, if i am sending a light what will happen definitely it will bombard here and get reflected like this here is not it like this it will get reflected how i am moving a cursor it will move uh, along the core okay whenever this light is bombarded or scattered here what happens it will get refracted it will get outside the core if it get outside the core what happened definitely the light intensity will decrease so you know, definitely there may have any loss of data okay okay sir okay so to avoid this what i have to do i have to maintain uh, the refractive index of core should be greater than the refractive index of cladding so the first condition is that we have to satisfy the two conditions the first condition is refractive index difference of refractive index n1 is greater than n2 okay the core has refractive index n1 okay this core is surrounded by cylindrical shell of glass or plastic called as cladding so this is a cladding cladding uh, the core will be surrounded with another bundles of uh, silicon dioxide we called as cladding even we call this as in a protective sheet protective layers to protect from any uh, environmental exposure understood like an a load is uh, acting on the core definitely it will break the core or it will elongate the core okay, then what will happen the light will easily get refracted so to avoid the refraction of light in the core we have to make certain bundles we have to be made over on the core not only cladding again i am going to make another bundle here that is what i call it as buffer okay so core cladding and buffer okay, buffer will act buffer and cladding will act as in a protective layers it, it going to protect the core that the light should not get refracted okay so this core is surrounded by cylindrical shell and uh, what we call as an cladding the cladding has low refractive index as already i mentioned the cladding should have low refractive index called as n2 okay so what is the condition here n1 is greater than n2 ah uh, yes n2 n2 so this cladding is covered by a jacket i again i am going to made another a bundle what we call as a jacket that may be made up of polyurethane it protects the layer from moisture and abrasion those things okay so the light is transmitted through this fiber is totally what i called as total internal reflection we have to remember this principle principle of optical fiber cable is total internal reflection what does it mean So the to the light passing will reflect totally sir without any loss yes whatever the light enters inside the core it should be totally reflected it should get internal reflection internally it should get reflected it should not get refracted so the principle is total internal reflection the total light should get internally reflected okay sir okay. the fiber guides light waves to travel over longer distance without much loss of energy 
so if you follow this principle total internal reflection then there is no that much loss of energy now this is this is what we have discussed so far is about the uh, what we call this a guided media i am not going to talk about the material what you have purchased okay i am i am going to discuss uh, the carrier bag the carry bag like polythene bag or any bag you require to carry the material that one okay, we are discussing okay sir and yes. certain conditions are there for the carry bag the material should be keep safe inside the bag is not it yes sir uh, that like that we have to make even in carry bags also we have certain uh, density of plastics of there if you have overload on the plastic bag what will happen it will tear out easily it will broke up is not it ஒரு கிலோகிராம் தான் போடணும் அதுல ரெண்டு கிலோகிராம் மேல நீ போட்டோகிராம் Okay. Can you move to the next? Yes, sir. So, core diameters, as already earlier I told, uh, we have to differentiate core diameters in the range between 5 micrometer to even 600 micrometers. While cladding diameters may vary 125 to 750 micrometers. Okay? If you increase the core diameters, automatically the cladding diameters will also increase. But it is not depend upon an cladding diameter. Core diameter only we require it. That how, how we are sending in a light. Whether you are send, sending or propagating only one light or multiple lights are sending. So even uh, by variation of core diameter also we can make different uh, types of uh, cables are made. Okay. Core transmits the light waves. The cladding keeps the light waves within the core by total internal reflection. Understood? Yes, sir. About refractive index, you know, it's already, you know, about this. N equal to sin i by sin r. Okay. Uh, for just reference, I have taken uh, what is the refractive index. Is. The refractive index plays a major role uh, to, give, uh, to minimize the loss of light in the core. Okay. You have to maintain particular refractive index. Unless, what will happen? Most of the light will easily disperse or easily deviate or uh, get refractive. So then it is useless. This technology will get useless. Okay. So we have to maintain N1 is greater than N2. Okay, sir. And now you see different uh, types of three-dimensional cables I have taken. Okay. Here on the uh, right side, you can see where I am moving the cursor. Okay. Even not only in telecommunications we have used, in a, not only in internet cables, even for uh, televisions also used nowadays. Okay, sir. Okay. So, core cladding, core cladding, this is the buffer coating, buffer coating, it is a protective layer for cladding and the core, you can see here, okay, where I am moving the cursor, this is the core, hmm? yeah, cladding, now you can, even you can imagine uh, how much this core diameter will be, it will be uh, less than to a 5 micrometer like that, okay, here only one light will enter, one light only enter it. Uh, upon this, we have made in a cladding, a polyurethane like that, a silicon dioxide. Uh, here we have made in a another uh, protective layers, outer jacket. It will look like this. Okay. So these two materials will play a major role for keeping the light without any loss. Okay. Now see how a light propagates. Propagation of light inside an optical cable. As I told you, definitely it will get reflected. So these arrow marks represent the propagation of light inside the core. Okay. So uh, you can take any uh, reference whether N1 on R2 doesn't matter. But here in this diagram, what we have taken core uh, refractive index N2 and cladding re refractive index is N1. Okay. Then N2 should be greater than N1 here. Understood? Sir. Okay. So like, how see light propagates inside the light? Here we have when a laser source are there. It will generate in a laser light. Beyond this, we will have certain uh, electronic components are there which will 
convert the audio signal to any any light signal those things we'll discuss later now here the audio signal is converted into laser light the light enters through the optical cable and get here reflected definitely what will happen here certain amount of light will get reflected it's not it so whatever the condition you have followed even though we cannot uh, minimize uh, it will definitely get a certain amount of light will get lost understood here okay, it will sir. get refracted so but minimum amount of light will definitely get reflected for each and every step bombardment here so this process what i call that internal reflection see arrow marks are there this light will get internally reflected the light launch inside <laughs> the core at one end of the fiber fiber propagates the and the other end due to the internal reflection the core and cladding interfaces okay so total internal reflection at the fiber wall can occur only if you have satisfied two conditions okay unless otherwise it will get easily refracted as i told you earlier the first condition is refractive index of core must be higher than the refractive index of cladding okay n1 is greater than n2 are you able to understand yes sir okay at the core and cladding interface you must remember the second point okay this is also very most important point that how we can avoid the refraction process at the core and the cladding interface the angle of incidence must be greater than the critical angle angle of incidence must be greater than its critical angle for each and every optical cable we have particular critical angle understood so that that we have to be maintained so in, in the case in a particular angle i have to incident the light if i go beyond the critical angle definitely what will happen it will get easily refracted see in the case here uh, this is the interface okay this is the interface of core and uh, cladding this angle what i called as angle of incidence is not it angle of incidence yes sir okay here we have what we called as yeah interface interface so uh, this is the proper way where i am making the light to interface on this if i made this angle greater or lesser what happens definitely it will get refracted it will get easily refracted if i am not maintaining the position of this incident light so this angle has to be maintained for each and every uh, core so this may vary depend upon the core diameter the angle of uh, critical will vary depend upon the core diameter understood so uh, this is the exact uh, angle where it may get internal reflection if i go more than this or if i come less than this definitely it will get refracted and the light will travel on the interface and the light will travel on the interface means what in between core and the cladding the light will move slowly like this where i am moving the cursor able to see that sir okay uh, the light will go on interface what will happen when the light moves on interface definitely it will get certain loss as well it is move slowly is not it it will not get uh, internally reflected if you go greater than critical angle or if you go less than critical angle and how we have to find a critical angle we have certain mathematical calculations are there and by choosing the refractive index values of core and the cladding we can easily find out the critical angle for a given core uh, by this we can send in a particular angle then we, we can easily get internal reflection unless otherwise if you go beyond the critical angle the light will easily refract so that is the second condition at the core and the cladding interface the angle of incidence must be greater the, and always the angle of incidence must be greater than critical angle okay okay sir okay that is what uh, we can simply say theta c theta c is an angle of critical theta i is what we called as incident angle theta i is greater than theta c can you represent like that theta i is greater than theta c theta i is incident angle and theta c is an uh, critical critical angle, angle always, sir angle of incidence is always greater than critical angle then only it will get internal reflected if you go beyond this definitely will get refracted so this is the condition the two conditions we have to satisfy unless the light will be very refracted okay okay sir 
now you see uh, we have taken three different situations when when the light is uh, made uh, to fall on beyond this critical angle or at the critical angle what happens so when i is less than when i is less than critical angle i is angle of incidence is less than critical angle okay when angle of incidence is equal to critical angle when angle of incidence is greater than critical angle so the, in this condition you can see on the figure c this is the exact condition where the light internally reflects is not it sir able to understand what i am telling now yes sir okay so in which condition we will get internal reflection the condition sir n1 greater than n2 n1 is greater than n2 in all cases that has to be followed that is the first condition second condition is what when the angle of incidence greater than critical angle sir yes yes when you follow these condition definitely you will get internal reflection okay what happens when i go an angle of incidence is less than critical angle what happens see here it will get Action. easily refracted is not, not it yes, sir so this angle this incident this is the incident ray is not it this is the incident ray and this incident ray will be less than its critical angle so for each and every material if you buy an a core material or if you going to buy an optical cable they may easily represent this is the critical angle for this optical cable so you have to be maintain to send in a light you have to maintain the have an angle of incidence should be always greater than this critical angle generally it will get reflected so in the first case you see when i am sending an incident light uh, which, which is less than its critical angle it will get easily refracted is not it okay sir okay in the second case you can see when angle of incidence is equal to critical angle right? both angles are same okay both angles are same my incident ray is all is equal to its critical angle for the given optical cable then what happens this ray that is the reflected ray will get on interface the light okay, will sir. propagate on the interface interface means what on core and cladding the light between the two as yes, between the two materials core and cladding uh, this is the interface in, in the case the light will propagates on the interface what will happen definitely certain amount of light will be scattered at all loss and the uh, uh, velocity of this light will be very very less it's not it yes sir every every sort of na velocity apo velocity theechite apo okay so if you send in these both cases the light, light will easily get refracted or they may have certain loss of light so to get internal reflection the first condition is n1 is greater than n2 and the second condition is angle of incidence is greater than critical angle okay okay sir